This exercise is a double arm dumbbell bent over row. The starting position will be standing with your feet a little bit more narrow than shoulder width and one dumbbell in each arm. From here, we're going to hinge at the hips, making sure to keep the core engaged in the back in a relatively neutral position. From here, once you have some tension throughout the body, you're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together and bend the elbows until they're even with the plane of the body. You will then slowly lower the weight back down toward the ground and repeat this process in a slow and controlled motion. Now, I'm gonna perform this exercise with a side view so that you can see what I'm talking about uh, with the low back and the hips. So again, feet a little bit more narrow than shoulder width. This is a hip hinge pattern. So you're gonna hinge at the hips. You can have a slight bend in the knees. Low back, nice and neutral. Could be a little bit flexed, but you wanna make sure that you're comfortable and that the core is engaged. From here, everything is still. Everything is stable. Arms come up, shoulder blades pinch together. Slowly lower the weight back toward the ground and continue to repeat as many times as you'd like. Now it's important to note that with this exercise, as with every exercise, there are going to be individual differences from person to person um, as far as body mechanics and form go. The thing that you want to keep in mind is that one, you wanna be in control of the weight the entire time throughout the entire range of motion. Two, you don't wanna have pain with this exercise. It's okay to have some fatigue in the low back because those muscles are working. However, you don't wanna have pain. And lastly, this is a general basic overview of the movement. There are different variations that you can perform but as long as you follow the basic guidelines that were set forth in this video, you should be good. I hope that you learned something today and I hope that you have a great day.